This is a video explaining cryptographic commitment schemes in a simple way. First, a non-cryptographic analogy is that of an envelope. We take a secret value, we seal it inside an envelope. The sealed envelope is our commitment. The two properties that we care about for our commitment scheme are called binding and hiding. First, binding. In our envelope example, when I put my value inside the envelope and seal it, I can't later change the value that I had committed to. The hiding property means that anyone who wants to look at the commitment can't infer or learn anything about the value inside, in the envelope case, because it is sealed inside. That gives us a commitment scheme. We might use this for a vote, for example. Now let's go to the world of cryptography. In a cryptographic commitment scheme, we're going to have two algorithms. The commit algorithm, which is how we're going to create commitments. And we have our verify algorithm, which is how we're going to prove uh, that an opening of a commitment was valid. So given the commitment and the value inside, we can check, yes, this was uh, the value that was committed to previously. For the commit scheme, we're going to have a value here, com, that is our commitment, and we're going to run our algorithm with inputs value, our secret value from the example before, as well as some randomness. For verify, we're going to take the value, the randomness, and the commitment, and we're going to output here a Boolean, which tells us whether or not we accept or reject that the value and randomness are a correct opening of the commitment com. So let's turn to some ways um, that we can make a cryptographic commitment scheme. One way we can make a cryptographic commitment scheme is from a collision resistant hash function. The commitment will be generated simply by hashing the value and randomness uh, as inputs to our hash function, and that will give us our commitment. And then we can verify openings by checking, okay, the commitment that was provided, does that hash to uh, the uh, commitment given the value and randomness. Here, if H is collision resistant, then this uh, scheme will be binding because if you can find a second valid opening, another value and randomness, um, then you found a collision in the hash function. If uh, H, the output of H looks random, um, then you don't learn anything about the underlying value. So you have the same hiding property as we did with the envelope. Another commitment scheme that's commonly used is a Peterson commitment. Um, I'm not going to introduce what a finite cyclic group is in this video, uh, but if that's of interest, uh, make a comment and maybe I'll make one. Um, but in this commitment scheme, we have a finite cyclic group such as uh, the sort that's used in elliptic curve cryptography. So a uh, group in which the discrete log problem is computationally hard. In that um, scheme, we need to pick two generators here called G and H, so they're going to be points uh, in the elliptic curve case. And we can generate a commitment as here the scalar multiplication of the scalar value with G plus the scalar randomness uh, multiplied with uh, the point H. The result of that is a uh, elliptic curve point, our, our result com. And to verify a commitment is uh, a valid opening, then we can take the value randomness, recompute and check indeed we got the uh, expected uh, commitment. One kind of handy feature about these Peterson commitments is that they are homomorphically added, which means when we add the commitments together, we get the commitment of the sum of the values that we committed to. And we can do that without knowing the secret values. So let's uh, show why that is the case. Um, so 
here we're going to add two commitments together, commitment one plus commitment two. So let's unpack what commitment one is. That's going to be uh, here V1, the first value, times the generator G, plus R1, which is going to be our first uh, randomness scalar, times the generator H, plus, for now, commitment two, uh, V2, the, the scalar, which is our value from the second commitment, times the generator G, plus the randomness from the second commitment, uh, times the generator H. And uh, rearranging, we can uh, group together all of our uh, values and all of our random scalars, and that is equal to the commitment of uh, V1 plus V2. And recall, we did all of this uh, without knowledge of V1. Uh, or V2. So that was a whirlwind explanation of uh, what a commitment scheme is in general and the two properties that we want from the scheme, binding and hiding. Um, we showed uh, the two important algorithms for a cryptographic commitment scheme, the commit and verify algorithm. And then we showed two concrete schemes briefly, one based on a, a collision resistant hash function and the second based on a finite cyclic group where the discrete log problem is hard. And this Peterson commitment scheme uh, has the bonus of being additively homomorphic. I hope this was useful and thank you for watching.